Good evening, everyone. I'm Doug Dunbar reporting tonight from CBS 11 News in Dallas, Fort Worth. We're going to begin tonight with sobering new numbers in the coronavirus pandemic. Today marks one month now since the first recorded death in the United States. And since then, the death toll has surged to more than 2,400 confirmed cases, top 136,000 and counting. Late today, the president again addressing the growing crisis from the White House. On Friday, the FDA authorized a new test developed by Abbott Labs that delivers lightning fast results in as little as five minutes. That's a whole new ball game. CBS News correspondents are covering all aspects of this national emergency. We will get underway tonight with Nicole Killian at the White House. Monday marks the end of the White House's coronavirus guidelines, but some officials, including within the administration, believe more time is needed. As President Trump convened his coronavirus task force, stark new projections from some of its key members about the toll the pandemic could take on the United States. I would say between 100 and 200,000 cases, but I don't want to be held to that because it's, it's, it's uh, excuse me, deaths. No state, no metro area will be spared. The warnings come as the president deliberated over rolling back CDC guidelines to slow the spread of the virus. As the president fiddles, People are dying, and we have to, we just have to take every precaution. Late Saturday, the president reversed course on enforcing a quarantine for the New York tri state area, scrapping the idea for a travel advisory. It really panicked people. They were going to leave the city last night. With one in three Americans under stay at home orders, Mr. Trump has suggested reopening parts of the country by Easter. We think uh, in two weeks around Easter, we're going to be looking a lot more like New York. On Face the Nation, Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin wouldn't say how soon the economy could be up and running, but he said stimulus checks from the $2.2 trillion aid package will help ease the gap. We expect that within three weeks uh, that people who have direct deposit with information with us will see those direct deposit in their bank accounts. Speaker Nancy Pelosi says the stimulus package is just a down payment and thinks another bill is needed. One of the president's top economic advisors told me he hopes that's not the case, but will do whatever it takes. Doug? Nicole, where do things stand, as you know, with medical supplies and protective equipment? Are people getting what they need? Yes and no. The governor of Louisiana told our Margaret Brennan that he continues to press the administration for more ventilators. And the mayor of New York City warned he only has a week's worth of supplies left. But this afternoon, the president did meet with supply distributors here at the White House. He says about 2,900 beds have been set up at New York's Javits Center. Doug? Nicole Killian at the White House for us tonight. Thank you.